Hi there. It's been a while since I've done a week in a life or a day in the life. And this week's been quite good. So just going to have a quick run through. So Monday started off really well. Great job, great shipper. Left Glasgow on good money and headed down to Stevenage. Got there around four in the afternoon. I'd already paid for accommodation. I maybe thought I could squeeze a little job in, but there wasn't really anything going on. So I went off to the travel lodge. Great night's sleep. Next day, got up bright and early. Seven o'clock, showered, shaved, starting bidding on work. And for the life of me, I could not get a job going north. And what I'd hoped for was, uh, I think I, it was Toddingham Services, uh, Travel Lodge. I thought I'll get a job. Milton Keynes, Stevenage, Cambridge, um, Stansted, any of these places. Going anywhere north, didn't mind where. Birmingham would have been good. Could not get a job going north for love nor money. And I don't know if it was because of the way I was bidding. Was I too far away? I don't think it was because of the price. So I don't know. Maybe it could just be because I was Scottish and I was in deepest, darkest England. And the mafia down there didn't like me. I don't know. Anyway, we ended up doing two short um, 40 quid jobs. But it didn't get us anywhere away from Milton Keynes. And I found the cheapest Airbnb I could find. And I stayed there for the night. And we're going to have a little video of that just now. So last night's accommodation was a little bit special. Dino Hut number five. Didn't use the bunk beds. Slept over there in the corner. And the littlest, the littlest bathroom you could imagine. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the actual amusement park itself. It's a pretty big place, really more designed for the summer and children. We've got dinosaury stuff if you're into your dinosaurs. There's a swimming pool thing down there. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. It was cheap. What a place. I mean, Dino Lodge number three. What was I thinking? Anyway, it was cheap and it was fine. It was cold, but it was cheap. So I uh, won't be staying there again, that's for sure. Anyway, so we were there up bright and early, six o'clock this morning because I was a bit agitated and I started bidding on the first jobs that came in thinking I'm just going to bid on everything. I don't care where it's going. And then the second job I bid on, I won. And it was only five minutes away. So I think in that case it was awarded because I was five minutes away. And I put on the full short wheelbase price for it. So I was very happy for that job and thank you to the shipper. And it was a bunch of sportswear going to a premium sportswear outlet in Liverpool so about a three hour journey got loaded no problem the pallet was way too big for the van but the shipper had said already you've got to handball it at the other end so I just said to the guys look I'm handballing it at the other end I'll just put, pack them loose in the van they were fine with that packed them loose got up to there and it was the type of place where it was a, it was a big fancy shopping mall in the middle of Liverpool and you have to go down into the concrete underground area and find the right access ramp and elevator. And when I finally found it, this is an example of what you have to do to get the stuff off. So it was noisy and it took a while, but we got it done. And I think what tends to happen is people just leave it on the loading dock tell the people your stuff's downstairs and leave them to go and get it. I'm not that sort of guy. I'm a friendly guy. I was happy to do it and I didn't have another job booked anyway. So I was going to go outside, sit and do nothing. So what was the point in that? Anyway, when I did get outside, um, there was three jobs going all to Scotland and the job I got ended up being an alcohol job, which I took all the way up to Glasgow that night and another great paid job. So now we're on Thursday morning and I'm sitting there and this normally never happens. And I think I've said that exact phrase before. Sitting there Thursday, Thursday morning, decided I'd got in late last night, 10 o'clock. Wasn't going to rush off early. Um, Susie made me a wonderful breakfast and uh, the job started to ping in at 8 o'clock. And the first job to ping in was Presswick Airport up to the south side of Glasgow. And at the same time that pinged in, another job pinged in from my postcode, which never normally happens, up to the far side of Glasgow. So I put a quote on both of them, and the first one, the shorter of the two jobs, came in. 
So I cancelled the other quote and took that job. And that job went fine, loaded, place I'd been to before to load, but not a place I'd delivered to, but that was easy enough. The guy, surly as he was, ticked the boxes and uh, signed the line. And that put me in Glasgow and I thought, well, I'll just sit here and wait. And another little small job came on, a 35 quid job delivering some labels from a printer's to a bottler's. And that turned into a bit of a nightmare because I drove right by the gate of the place thinking, surely that dump of a shabine of a building can't be a bottling plant. And I drove by and there was a big fancy building uh, the other side, but it was all cordoned off, pedestrian access only. So it was 20 minutes to come round the other side, got to the other side, could see from when I was on the other side that the place I was at the first time was the correct place. So my little 35 quid, 15 pound job <laughs> turned into an hour. But anyway, no one's fault. I wasn't doing anything else. Couldn't really care. So that's it. Unless something else pops up, I'm not working tomorrow. We're going carpet shopping. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all on Monday. And another job did pop up. It was for a company called Munro EV and it was some laser cut parts for their vehicle. And Munro EV is a amazing Scottish company making 100% electric four wheel drive vehicles. And this is the vehicle. I had a really nice chat with the owner and I asked him if I could take a picture. He said, sure. So these vehicles are all made in the UK. Every single component is made in the UK, which is was just tremendous. And the technology behind the vehicle is great. And it has something like 150 mile range um, and a one ton towing capacity. So yeah, nice way to finish up the week actually. And here we have another little taste of my own homebrew, but it was just the one drink because I was fortunate enough to get a job from Freddie Fletcher, a little cheeky Saturday job. I don't normally work the weekend, but uh, this was really quite close to the house and it was the right thing to do. So thank you very much, James, for this job on a Saturday. It tops off my week just nicely. I hope you've all had a great week and I hope you all have a great weekend. Catch you next time. Oh.